Hi, if you've been around cybersecurity long enough, well, even if you're a newbie, you came across one or two NIST documents in your life, and that is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. But the question is, are you reading them right? Let's talk about it. There are several documents in the NIST library, but the most famous of all, I guess, is the NIST 800-53. And that is what I call, at least, is a control library where all the security controls in there, similar to if you want an ISO shop as the ISO 27002, contain all the controls. But are you reading them correctly? Here's my point. The NIST 853 is sort of like having the answer book for your test, but not knowing what the questions are. And here I'll show you some of my points. So if you pick up the NIST 839 and you read, so I, I, what I like to, like to call the most neglected pages in NIST is the beginning, right? Chapter one is some of them, basically the first 15 pages of the NIST document is the one that you just skip over. But there are valuable information in there, mainly how to establish your security program and how they're gonna play out, right? If you're an ISO shop, that is your NIST, that actually, that is your ISO 27001 document that establishes the governance of your program. So I'll read a few of them in here just to prove a point. NIST 839 says, and I quote, the purpose of the special publication 800-39 is to provide guidance for an integrated organizational wide program for management, managing information security risk to organizational operation, i.e. mission, function, image, reputation. NIST 853, the most popular one, says, and I quote, the control selection criteria can be guided and informed by many factors, including mission and business needs. Another NIST document, and that is the uh, NIST 837, um, which is your risk management framework. It states, to ensure that managing system-related security and privacy risk is consistent with the mission and business objective. Finally, and I'll leave it here, the NISTER document is specifically the NISTER 8286. It states, as part of their governance responsibility, executive leaders should establish clear and actionable risk management guidance based on enterprise mission and business objectives. Now, that is what you should establish your organization, and that is what I've been saying for a while now. It is a mission-based cybersecurity program, which is founded under a mission-based risk program that identify the risks to the mission so you can establish your cybersecurity program around it. So if you don't start there and you start with the answer book for your tests and you don't know what the questions are, how you know you're picking the right answers? So understanding what are the mission and corporate objectives and understanding what systems support them. And system, I mean the ecosystem, firewalls, routers, switches, process, people, technology, the application stack, your application portfolio, whatever you call in your organization, whatever taxonomy you use within your organization. If you don't know what they are, where your cybersecurity program stands, what are they protecting? Everything? Most likely that will be the answer. But the thing is, if you protect everything, you protect nothing. If everything is a priority one, there is no priority. So you need to establish that. A flat network, is all production system treated equal? Well, those that support the operational operational of the organization, the operations of the organization, the support, the mission, the vision, the, the, the products and services that you provide to your customer shareholders, are they the same value as any other system on your production environment? Think about it. 
Once you understand those, you're going to be able to apply the controls that you find in NIST 853. That is your control library. You will apply them accordingly. You will segregate and segment your environment, high, medium, low, very high to very low, whatever you decide, a five point from very high to very low, or you use the NIST from high, moderate, and low. But you need to understand what is the mission and the corporate objectives first so you can apply security and establish security program accordingly and protect the organization accordingly as well.